What dark secret are you hiding from everyone? Not a huge secret in comparison to some of these answers, but I feel the guilt of it often. After my fiancé passed, I napped all the time for over a year. My aunt was calling me one day and I just denied her call, went back to napping. It was my aunt calling because my grandma, who was very sick with cancer, wanted to say happy birthday a day before my birthday. Grandma died the next day. I should have picked up the damn phone. My brother and I did a 23 and me. We discovered we have a half sibling, same father, who is older than us. I messaged them but no reply. Since the half sibling is older, it was during my father's military career, which was short lived because he got a dishonorable discharge that he hides from his family still. Everyone in my family is bragging me with the fact that I don't want to date girls anymore and think that I'm strange or gay. But I lost my girlfriend, which I assume I could have a good life with her. She committed suicide and I never talk about that with them. I know I can speak with some members of my family, but my parents are different. Edit, thank you so much guys for your kindness, but I don't want to discuss that at the moment with someone. It will bring back some memories that will make me more depressed than before. One of my closest co-workers, who is an integral part to our very large corporation killed a man in his late teens and threw the body in a lake. He only got off on a technicality. I work remotely so I don't build a lot of personal relationships with people I work with regularly. I googled his full name. It freaked me out at first. But I've kinda gotten over it. I wonder if anyone else knows. It happened 40 plus years ago. He will retire soon and then I might ask another co-worker about it. I just don't want to stir the pot. My grandmother has dementia, she's been dying for years now. The woman she was before is entirely gone. My grandfather is still convinced she is there, talks to her, tells us he thinks she's getting better. She's not, and he's deluding himself. She doesn't laugh anymore, or remember anyone's names, and can barely eat. In my eyes she is already dead. Still alive to everyone else. I wish this husk of her was gone so I could remember her as she actually was, and so that I wouldn't have to watch my grandfather or the rest of my family delude himself. I owe the bank 100k. I think I'm beginning to lose my mind. Lately I've been having trouble remembering things that I've known for years, sometimes when people talk to me their words just don't make sense to me when everyone else seems to get it, I've become super paranoid, I'm having an extremely hard time concentrating, and I've been finding it more and more difficult to talk to people. I'm kind of scared. Edit, I'm only 26, never had COVID. When my grandpa was on his deathbed, he admitted to killing fellow Marines in the Vietnam War for torturing and raping young girls. Most of our family doesn't know. I never have other plans that I just can't cancel. My grandpa was stationed in Okinawa, Japan during the Korean War. While in the Marines, he hooked up with a woman there. And she got pregnant. So, I have a Japanese aunt and a few cousins. In Japan whom I've never met before. I fell off a roof at work yesterday. I fell about 8 feet to my side and head. I was rushing and was being overconfident. I told my partner I fell on ice because she worries that I work alone. I could have died and no one would have known where I was until my body started to stink. Edit update. To everyone advising me to seek help. I have. I just received a CT scan and several x-rays on my arm and I am in the hospital awaiting results. I am an insured Canadian independent contractor. I have both private insurance and WSIB. Thank you everyone for the concern and advice. Edit update 2, CT scan results clear. No bleeding or other signs of trauma or abnormalities. Fracture to elbow occult. Been in the hospital for 5 hours so very hungry. My wife and I aren't officially married. No one knows. We had a ceremony and everything. Reception. The whole nine yards. We just never did the official paperwork. We realized that since she's going back to school, it benefits her financially to go through financial aid as single, rather than married. When she finishes up, 
We're going to head over to Town Hall and finish the last step. I'm living with my mom right now cause she's going there cancer but to be honest. I can't wait to see her go. It sounds horrible but I'd rather see her go than see her suffer even more. It's not like I would get anything out of her will. It's more like it sucks cause she's always in pain and seeing her like that brings me pain. Most people in my family think that my mother recently died suddenly from complications due to cancer. But she really died from the toxic effects of oxycodone, morphine, fentanyl and methamphetamine. Seems as though she just had herself a secret death party. My adopted sister knows her birth mother died in a freak accident. She doesn't know the cause of death was beheading. I worked with a guy that was a first responder to the accident. Call me maybe is my morning alarm. Cutting off my dad was the best decision I've made. I hope it kills him inside every day to not know how his only child and only grandchild are doing. I tried for years to have a relationship with him since age 10 until 18. From 10 to 13 he would tell me he wished I would have died when I was sick as a kindergartner because I wouldn't have tattled and ruined his marriage to my mom. I tried multiple times but was unsuccessful. I still tried to have a relationship with him for my mom. To help her financially. And would visit him for months. He'd keep me locked in a closet for hours at age 14. From 1618 he thought throwing money around would help me but I was already working by then and it didn't matter. I still have my daily battle where I ask myself if he's right or not but I see my kid and I can't imagine thinking such vile things about them at that age like my dad did about me. When I was around 5 or 6, my mom and dad were fighting just about every day. Well I was napping on the couch when my mom came in very upset and she shook me awake. She asked me if I saw, the girl, my dad brought home. I've always felt terrible for this BC I hadn't seen anyone but my dad that whole day. I'm pretty sure he was just playing video games like usual. But for some reason in my sleepy kid brain I answered yes. I said she was with him in their room. I'm honestly not sure why I lied like that but they got a divorce shortly after and I always felt like it was my fault. Until I recently found out my little sister is actually my half-sister but that's a whole other story. My cousin raped me when I was a kid and to this day I haven't told anyone about it. It's been probably around 25 years ago or so which makes me feel like it's not worth addressing. After so much time, I absolutely hated it when his mom asked me why I didn't invite him to my wedding. I still don't know how I should have responded to keep that a secret. I would be perfectly okay with never talking to any of my immediate family again. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.